exist. I never want to hear that music again. Welcome back to Road Dogs Road TV. Dogs. Today coming at you from Long Beach, from the streets, for the streets. We have a legend today. We have Sin in the house. Yo, yo, what's happening? Thank you for that, by the way. No, no, no thank yous. We've witnessed thank it you. from, thank you for being here. Yes. From playing with Lords of Acid, Society One, Ministry. Uh, I'm sure you've been in a ton of projects. You're always Revolting ever, Cox. Revol oh my God. <laughs> and I forget the Revolting Cox, yeah. man. And uh, you're always everywhere. You're, you're in the scene, you're from LA, yep. and, and you're about the scene. Definitely. Um, came out of LA, born in East LA, and uh, proud to be a you know, LA native. And uh, came out of the LA scene, just like we were talking about, man, from backyard parties all the way to you know, being in ministry. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, what inspired you to play guitar, to get started? Kiss. Kiss? Yeah, the band Kiss. I was... Uh, my older cousin brought over Kiss Alive when I was like six years old. <laughs> I swear to God. And I saw this, you know, album and I thought they were superheroes. And I was like, they are. are they a band? Are, <laughs> they, are they superheroes? What are they? And um, from that point on, I was just like, this is what I'm going to do. And, uh, you know, that's, I was focused on that and nothing has deterred me from it. But uh, that was my introduction into this, you know. So. And who is this beautiful lady next to you? My name is Katrina Jade. Thank How gorgeous so is she? Cheers. How about a hand for her? Sid! Sid, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. See? Don't I look better with her sitting here? <laughs> yes. Right? It's yes. a hit. Yes. Just saying, it's a hit. You know? It's a hit. Yeah. So Katrina's uh, uh, a friend of mine. We had a mutual friend. We have a mutual friend, and that's how her and I met. But um, she's also got a... Uh, a blooming career going so um thank you so much for coming on road dogs yes. we so appreciate it thank you i'm actually really really nervous and excited oh don't oh. be <laughs> don't be why are you gonna be nervous it's just a be rock nervous. and roll tv how show how are you gonna be nervous with those shoes yeah you can take us don't all don't out me. at any moment so tell us what was your first band that you were in your first project that you ever remember being involved in um like band that actually played out? No, or, no, or no, like, no. Oh, your first band. Like, your first oh, band. Dude, I, uh, the band that never played shows that wrote five albums. And you told every girl about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the band that I'm in, but it was just your that, guitar. <laughs> that was, that was an, I was about 13, and uh, I played the talent show, actually, with this band. and I, We were called Revenge. At what school, if you don't mind? John, uh, John Muir Jr. High in Berlin. Wow. wow. Yeah. And um, that's the, you know, the very first time I played in public. And that's when I first realized what having a guitar around my neck did. Wow. And um, the like effect it. that it had on other people, um, you know, mainly, on, uh, mainly on the girls. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, wow, this is kind of cool, you know. And what and, was uh, your first guitar? It was, my very first guitar is a piece of crap Del Rey, which I still have. That's it's good. got like the actions like five inches off the neck. And it's a horrible guitar. Right yeah, now. pretty much. But uh, then after that, my first real guitar was a Gibson Les Paul Custom, what which year? I also still have. 81. Wow. Silver Burst. Wow. Yeah. So um, Hot rod, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> But yeah, that was my first sort of introduction in, in playing live. It was a stupid talent show we played. I think we played Live Wire, I think, by Motley Crue back then. Nice. And um, yeah, and you know, I was like... One day I was a loser, and the next day after the talent show, I had all these chicks coming you up to me. You were the popular guy in yeah, the school. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I see how this works. <laughs> I think I'm playing and in a I band. Was like, yeah, I was like, you know, I better get pretty good at this, because I, th I, think, I think I see a future here. You know? Yeah. And what was the first band that you played clubs in? Uh, a, oh God, what was it? That, that band was called Rampage, and uh, that was the first band that like I did... The whiskey, the troubadour, the coconut teaser, the Roxy, all that stuff. Did all the, the you know, the, yeah, the yeah, coconut the teaser. Yeah, I remember coconut the teaser. Man. But that's the band, I actually. I miss that place, Me too, actually. dude. That I was love my that favorite place. place down there. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. It was my favorite yeah. place on the strip. Especially the tacos afterwards. In the yeah. yeah. And the people yeah. were so cool. Yeah. And there always a real rock and roll scene was there. Yeah. There was yeah. a real scene there. Yeah, it was cool back then. Um, you know, we'd be playing, like, a typical night would be, like, us, Static X, System of a Down, and Cold Chamber. 
Like that was like a Saturday. Yeah, night that's there, dope. You know? I was in the crowd watching those shows. Yeah, that was. I've been following you since those days. Wow, you yeah. were pro- you were probably one of four people that were watching. Them, <laughs> we had nobody coming to our shows. Back I remember then, going you know? to the Cold Chamber shows, the Static yeah. X shows. From the whiskey to the yes. troubadour, yep. and then one day it was the whole LA scene was blown up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that when when like Static got signed, um, everybody got sort of signed. Cold Chamber system yes. went down, and my band was breaking up. But oh. that's the point when I joined Society One. Oh, and um, and then we got signed. Yeah, and then you know we got signed to Eric Records, and then next thing you know we're on tour and we're on Headbangers Ball on MTV and we're wow. on VH1 and. I'm getting endorsements. And, wow. you know. Yeah, you guys blew up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was crazy, man. You, you know, it took a couple of years, but it was a crazy scene back then. And then hitting the road for the first time, like really hitting the road. And then all the touring stuff that happens and, you know, all the stories all that the you hear. Yes, oh, man. All, all, the, all the stuff that you hear about growing up, it's like multiply it 10,000 times. Wow. It really does happen. All really? That stuff. Oh, all, yeah. the, all the cliches play out. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. To the yeah. T. Yeah. Oh, they man. wouldn't be cliches if they didn't play No, out. no. If my if I had a crotch cam back then, it would be <laughs> crazy. So, yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun, man. But um, well, Do you ever play with Society One still? Yeah, I do. I actually reconnected with them uh, during, uh, I think it was my birthday or February, right around that time. We sort of parted ways and didn't really speak for about eight years nine years wow. and um and it was really bs through other people um we had this one agent that was basically feeding them stuff and feeding me stuff divide and conquer yeah yeah basically and um mm-hmm. and and it was never us that were actually talking it was through this other guy and then we finally just connected and and said you know what let's just forget all that bullshit and this is what's up now and 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 we just moved on that's so we really connected cool. and I, I've done a couple of gigs with them now and um, they're doing really well. But, you know, I got this ministry tour. coming. Well, come on, now, get so. out of here. You're in ministry. Yeah. Oh, At least for me, that's my favorite all time band. Yes. That's awesome. To me, that's like. Uh, Man, here I was thinking like you guys weren't going to know anything oh, about. Get you get out of here. <laughs> what are you talking about? I swear, man. I'm always surprised, man. You know, uh, I never know. It's like when... a dream come true for us. When I, have, I thought you had. Yeah, it, yeah. It's a, to us, we we've seen you it. on all the stages. We've seen you with Lords of Acid. And then you're playing with Ministry. Yeah. Uh, come on. And you guys are going on tour this year coming going up. Going on tour again. Yeah. That's we, um, a dream come true. We start in uh, February in Australia at the Soundwave Festivals. We're playing with uh, Soundgarden and Faith No More. And, what? Um, yeah. And then Doing we go, it. Living the dream. Fuck yeah, man. Oh, and then man. Uh, after Australia, we go South Africa and then South America and up into Mexico. Wow. And that'll be the first leg. And that'll take us uh, up until like end of March, I think. And then we're off April. And then I think May, we do the States. And then June, July, August, we go to Europe and the UK. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. That's yeah. Well, we're going to show one of your music videos right now, Sin, and we'll be back with more Sin for Ministry on Road Dogs TV. Road Dogs TV.
great people. It can't just be all the radicals, you know, all the people in the underground. It has to be everyone. Just stop shielding the rich. Just stop granting privilege to the rich. Drain them. Drain their privilege. Now that you know that you were told, look at the north out of control. Welcome back to Road Dog TV. We got very special guests in in the house. Yo, yo, yo. And he's got a very special guest. My friend Katrina. Katrina, tell What's us up? about yourself. Welcome and hello. Um, Welcome and hello. I'm a porn girl, I guess. Adult film actress. Yes, I, I'm a, I love art. I'm a big fan of art. So tell us a little bit about your career, about what you've been doing. Um, I've been filming back and forth between L.A., Woodland Hills, Vegas. Been trying to stay a little busy, taking some public nudity shots. Do you work for one company or do you work for several companies? Uh, multiple. Not in any contract or anything. Oh, cool. So. Cool. Where can we find your stuff? Um, Find my videos or find my pages? Both. Both. Everyone. Oh, all of it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> um, well... I, I, think, guess. I think you have a bunch of fans here, yes. so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we all love you. We're all ready to love. <laughs> um, well, I say the best place to go is Twitter, and that's where, I'll, if anything new comes out, I'll be posting each company, all of the promos, all, like, maybe gifts, maybe. You know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your address on Twitter? Or your it's name on KJ Twitter? underscore... I think it's KJ, I'm not really sure. KJ underscore fetish model at Twitter. Thanks. And then, oh, I always, I never remember. Uh, could, what is it? Katrina Jade fetish model for Tumblr. Is that nice. right? That's, that's the good all one. Right, that's good. one you got to go to. It's all the nude stuff. Everybody say it again. What was it? What was that one again? It's Katrina Jade fetish model at Tumblr. There you go. That's where all the good shit is. Here, 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 here. I never remember. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us the info. We'll post it on the, you know, on the show at the end. So. Yeah, we'll post it at the end in the credits so everybody can look you up. Sin, we need to. I'm ask still you. trying to remember her page. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're taking I, I, it I down. I never remember. Some mental note never. already. It's like I'm trying to somehow make it pop up on my phone already. Yes. <laughs> the big question here is, how did you end up in ministry, man? Um. I, Society One actually and Ministry had the same booking agent years ago, oh. and he initially introduced me to Al, and um, we just kind of remained in contact. 
And um, when he was putting the Revolting Cox back together, he sent me an email and he's like, hey, do you want to play guitar for the Revolting Cox? And I was on tour with uh, Society One at the time in Europe. And I said, of course. So when I got back from that, from that tour, he flew me to Texas and I just started rehearsing with the Revolting Cox and we went on tour opening for Ministry. So wow. Al was doing double duty. He was doing Revco and ministry. And uh, during that tour, we just became close, you know. And um, when, I, <laughs> when, when that tour ended uh, is when Society One and I parted ways. And so I was left without a band for like the first time since, you know, my talent show days. <laughs> and, um, and so I'm like sitting at home going like, what the hell am I going to do now? And I get a call from Al and he was in Europe and he says, hey, he's like... Uh, do you want to help me write the new ministry record? Wow. wow. And I was like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, of course I said yes. yes. And, um, and he flew me out to Texas. And, uh, you know, I had my little eight track recorder with some riffs. And I was just hoping to get like a riff on a song or on, on the album. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ended up writing half that record. Wow. wow. And I played guitar on the whole record. And I played bass on it as well. And uh, that was uh, an album called The Last Sucker. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great album. Thank what you. you. That's Thank a, you. an art piece. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. If you got the album, like you, it was a whole art thing in there. Um, and that was it, man. I've been with them ever since. You wow. Know, did, uh, I don't even know how many ministry records I've done now. Um, did The Last Sucker, Relapse, and then From Beer to Eternity is the last one. It just came out a year ago, a year and a half ago. Then a, a live record, and then I wrote two Revolting Cox albums. Wow. I wrote Sexo Olympico and Got Cock. Busy boy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. They're doing it. You know, huh? Right machine, man. Where did you guys record the last ministry album? In El Paso, Texas, which is where we were based all those years, but now we're based in LA. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So ministry's based in LA now? Now, yeah. yeah. Wow. I just that's moved cool. to LA, so now we're we're in Burbank actually. We're both in Burbank. But um all those other records we were in El Paso. He had his own studio out there. And uh, I mean, I was actually living in El Paso for, you know, because I was there. I did three records in a row. I did The Last Sucker. I did Cover Up. And then I did Sexo Olympico all in a row. So I was there for about four months. So it's kind of like my home away from home. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of friends out there. I'm originally from Texas. So what part? Austin. Nice. So part of the drive halfway. Is yeah, like yeah. Al used to live in Austin as well. He had a house yeah. out there. It's cool, man. Yeah. Got arrested many times there. <laughs> <laughs> many times. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's all that craziness about Al being the wild man. Is that true? Completely. Wow. It that is. makes it even cooler. Completely. It it's makes all, it even it's, cooler. It's all true. All the stories you've heard, they're actually probably... Watered down. They're watered down <laughs> compared wow. to yeah, the real... The real guy. Well, he's the legend, I think. Yeah, he he's a he's an actual pirate. Like he's really he's like the the modern day Keith Richards. He's like the real deal. Yeah. You know. I mean, he's a musical genius, and yeah. you know, I love him. Thank God that uh, he believed in me and has you know had me with you know with him all these years. So that's must be an honor to play with him all the it time. Is. It is. It's still a trip, man. You know, even though I'm in the band, I mean, I grew up being a fan, totally. but I, there's many times where like I'll be in the studio with him, and I usually write all the music you know for ministry songs now and he does all the lyrics and shit but i'll be sitting in the studio and we're working on a song and he'll turn to me and he'll be like well what do you think we should do here and i'm looking at him like <laughs> dude I'm like, you're just, me, I'm like me. you're al fucking jorgensen dude like why are you asking me dude like oh, i'm just man. a dude from the talent show you know what i mean like i mean fuck dude you know but like but he exactly. believes in me you know and he's yeah. i mean as far as a producer goes He's been the best producer I've ever had. He's he's pulled performances out of me that I never knew I had. You know, I've done stuff on those records that I didn't know I was able to do. Before. He knows how to make other you know? people shine. Yeah, exactly. That's and that's a that's leader. a true that's a true producer and a true like leader there. Yeah, that's really that's cool. amazing. Yeah, and so you guys are going to be going on tour again, huh? Is there a new February. album coming or what? No, we're still touring off the last record uh, from Beer to Eternity, which we didn't tour when that record came out because uh, our other guitar player Mikey Skasha passed away. So we kind of took some time off, and uh, now Al's moved to L.A., and uh, now that's we're getting the, the gears rolling again. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's it's amazing. It's going to be a big announcement for the states. So I know you guys love to come to the, oh to the shows gosh. in L.A., yes. and that's yes. going to be a big, that's going to be a big, like, industrial yes. tour kind of yes. thing that oh, I can't really, I can't I can't really say the other bands, um, but it's going to be a big industrial thing. 
Oh, I can't wait. It's needed. Yeah. It's needed it's because very uh, much needed. ministry is the leader in that scene. They're yes. the top. Everybody else has been trying to imitate, but ministry is the top. I agree. And I'm not saying that because I'm in the band. I mean, no. I say that even before I was in the band. I mean, there, there's the no band doubt that, about that. Anybody is, who had legends just, already been told. Yeah. Just listen yeah. to the records from the beginning, yeah. from the 80s albums. Yeah. Because uh, he sings. If he wanted to, he could be a pop star. Oh, that's, yeah. And that's what he was on that first record. Yeah, yes. but, it, it, but it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, not my style of music, but that's a I'll perfect tell you, album. I'll tell you a funny story about that first record. He he hates that first record. Really? Okay? Really? He hates that first album, and there's a whole story behind it. But um, he hates that first record because he was signed. Clive Davis signed him okay. to that, that his first deal and put him in the studio, and they had outside writers come in and help him write that record. Ghost writers so, and everything. So he was kind of like... He really wasn't digging that right so now during those those house of blues shows in 2008 we did four sold out nights there yes. on that tour we had a meet and greet and we we're sitting like this and i'm um, sitting next to al and there's this line of people and this guy um shows up and he's got the first record right oh, and no. our security guy <laughs> our security guy was like yeah. you know making sure everybody was cool yeah and he looks at this guy and he goes hey man he goes don't bring that record out he goes he's just you're gonna put him in a bad mood and shit yeah. And the guy was kind of an asshole, yeah. you know what I mean? And so he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I won't, I won't. And he fucking comes up, and the first thing he does in front of Al, he's like, you're going to fucking sign this. Oh, oh shit. Right? Oh. And Al's just sitting there, and he looks at him, and he goes, okay. And he, like, takes the record <laughs> out, and he fucking smashes it on the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it went in fucking million pieces everywhere, dude. He grabs this one tiny piece, and he yeah. puts, like, a J on it. <laughs> it back to him. <laughs> And that dude, that guy's story. face, like, he was almost in tears. This Priceless. Wow. Yeah. He had kept yeah. that record for 30 years safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That kind of story. shit happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. Man. Well, it must be a great adventure, and it's good to see you at the top, man. Thank you, because man. I really I, appreciate it, man. Seriously, I, I, I'm, I'm like humbled by, by all the kindness from you guys and no, all no, your words, no. man. For real. We appreciate you coming here and showing us love because uh, we're a show for the people. And I know that you're a real musician, that you're not there, you're not a fake rock and roller. Nobody gave you anything. You've been playing mm -hmm. and you've worked your ass off for it. Yeah. And we've seen it. We've seen it wow. on the strip. We've seen it for the past 20 years. Yeah. We can vouch for you. Yeah. Nobody, you know, we, 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 there's very few people I can say, oh, I've seen them play and I've seen them do this, but I've seen you do it. So we're honored today. I appreciate and thank that, you so man. Much, I appreciate that, thank man. You thank so you very much. much. And I'm honored to be next to Katrina as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, come on. I'm honored for you. <laughs> thank you. How lucky am I? I get to sit next to it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you both for coming on Road Dogs TV. Appreciate and we it. really appreciate it. And this is going to be another music video from Sin. Thank you so much.
get involved in that We told you that we didn't want to see you get hooked And you may be hooked From the streets of Long Beach to all around the world Killing corporate slavery from LA to New York Join me if you're ready, only if you're ready Join me if you're ready, only if you're ready If we lose America, we have nowhere else to run for freedom 
trapeze and drop the other faction One is up, the banner at the forefront Now release the ever-driving leader in your head
list. I never want to hear that music again. Everything is going to be a publicity. We're not going to get no money up front. But if they pump, if they pump $250,000 yeah. into the band, then we'll just tour. about money it ain't about glory it's about the shit you do Woo! welcome back welcome road back. dog tv very special guest today sitting in the house for ministry revolting cogs lords of asset society one and the talent show band and, and the, the talent, talent show band. where it all started and did you win the talent show that it, well it wasn't a contest it was just like just people performing and shit. You know? Just nice. getting up there. Yeah. But yeah. It, some girls came up and were like, oh, I love it. Yeah, the next so day, great. yeah. All of a sudden, I was popular. You existed. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I went from like being just, you know, dude, bullied and like people call me names and shit like that to all to, of a sudden. Oh, you're like, the greatest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Still happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, now. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell us about your what you have planned for the future, what you're doing, what you're um, working on. I've got, uh, well, the upcoming ministry tour obviously happens in February. And um, I'm also working on this movie. Tell us Going to be working that. on this movie. It's called The Bridge, the movie. And it's also starring, get this, uh, Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. What? Is in it. Eddie from Twisted Sister. Wow. wow. Uh, Joey from The Pixies. Ricky Warwick from Thin Lizzy. So it's an all-star movie. And Al Jorgensen. I got Al wow. in the movie as well. What? Yeah. So we're all in the movie. And um, Damn. I, we're going to start filming in 2015. It'll be out in 2015. But uh, it'll be my big motion picture debut. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Maybe it'll be like a big, like, you know, on-screen kiss with me and Al or something. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get Katrina in this movie. Oh, yeah. 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 You got to get her in that movie. Yeah. What's so, the premise of it it's uh basically it's about um like an up-and-coming band kind of thing but we're not necessarily playing band guys we're going to be doing other roles okay. so and i can't they're not i'm not allowed to say what roles right. we're playing but i'm not going to be playing like a guy in a band so more industry side or whatever uh it's well it's based through. in this real small town i can say that al is playing this bar owner he yeah. owns <laughs> he, he owns this he owns this bar where this band, you know, plays at regularly. Nice. And I can also say that he owns a goat. Yeah. That's, that's important. Yeah. Goats are yeah. what keep us around. So it's going to be the first. What are you doing? Are you working on it? Are you yeah, I'm in the it? movie. Like, I'm an actor in the movie. But I, I can't say what my right. role is yet. Are you working on the music for the movie, too? No. Um, they've already got that squared away. We're just going to be in the movie. Oh, we really might have, tight. I think Pamela DeBar might be in the movie as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a lot of, like, really cool people that I'm, you know, excited to work with it, go where, where you. are you guys gonna film uh it will be filming in la right yeah we've seen yeah. you dj and you're a great dj well thank you and yes. uh so where are you djing next um i just dj'd the la fetish ball like a yeah. couple weeks ago and Ooh. um i'm djing this big fetish event called horns and halos in scottsdale arizona nice october 11th i think and um <clears throat> excuse me after that I think I'm doing Mexico in December. Like oh, Mexico crazy. City, I got a big DJ gig out there. Wow. Mexico City has such a great scene, too. Yeah, yeah. You know? So. so Do that. you speak Spanish? Fluent. Nice. I didn't learn to speak English till I went to kindergarten. ¿Hablas español también bien bien? Muy, no, to, hablo español toda en toda mi casa. Toda su vida. Yeah, toda mi vida. Nice. ¿Y qué de Al Jorgensen? Porque él es de Cuba, él habla español es también. Es cubano, un poco. Oh, ¿No wow. mucho? No mucho. My mom speaks to him in Spanish. Yes. Yes. And he always tries to answer. In Spanish. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, Al loves my mom. She's at every ministry show. Oh, I'm really? surprised you guys didn't see her. She was at the Lords of Acid gig. Really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Probably mom standing mom right next to her the whole time. <laughs> She's at all my LA shows. Usually wearing, if it's a ministry show, she'll be wearing a ministry shirt How or an Isle of Sin shirt. I love it. Yeah, and she's down the front, and I like—I always try to put her up in like a Aww. VIP area, yes. you know. And she refuses; she wants to be right in front of me. Oh, yeah, that's so 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, and she's got to be super proud. That's she is. Mijo. She is. Yeah. Extremely. Ese es mi hijo. Yeah. Ese es mi... Te dije, yeah. no, decía yeah, yeah. Greñido Loco, yeah, míralo exactly. ahora. Exactly. No, decía Greñido Loco, no va a hacer nada, míralo, yeah. ¿eh? Yeah. ¿Quién está tocando ahorita, exactly. eh? ¿Quién es? Míralo, míralo, te dije, That's pendeja. It. But what's funny, what's funny is that, like, so many of my fans have seen her at shows. Yeah. Every time I play... She's like more popular than I am. Yeah. She has like, people are like always taking pictures with her and stuff, man. And I'm like, right here. Yeah, like, and like my cousin, like, cause you know, she'll go, my aunts will go, and my cousins whenever I play LA. And my cousins afterwards are like, dude, your mom's like a star out here, dude. Yeah. Like, everybody's coming up to her, like, wanting to take pictures with her and That's shit. So That's cute. really cool. Yeah. Everyone yeah. reminds that. you that she's the coolest person in the Absolutely. world. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe, Which she is. Maybe Which she, she is. can come on Road Dogs too. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a whole Spanish version. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool that you speak Spanish. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, until kindergarten, man. Yeah, I that's the way yeah. I was. I didn't speak Spanish. I didn't speak English till I went to school. Yeah. That's where I learned English. I was born in Mexico City. So. Were you really? Yeah. In Mexico City? Mexico City. Nice. Yeah. When did you come to the States? Eight years old. You were eight years old? Yeah. Well, that's like my cousins. They yeah. were about six, seven when they came home. I was the first in my family to be born in the States. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. That's yeah. some really good, good shit. Yeah. A really good story out of it, huh? And it, I mean... You guys know my full first name, right? Because everybody thinks it's a stage name. And no. My full first name is, is spelled S-I-N-H-U-E. And it's pronounced Sinue. 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 Yeah. And Sin is the first three letters. So that's oh, how it's like, Oh, my God. It's Sin. Well, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. But everybody thought. And it's a, it, my mom got the name from this movie called The Egyptian that was out like in the 50s or some shit. Like it was one of those like, you know, Cleopatra kind of movies. Yes. Epic. And um, yeah, and I always heard this story growing up and I was like, yeah, yeah, right. Whatever. And then finally, like I looked it up and it's legit. Like I actually <laughs> saw it and shit. I saw the movie. I was like, holy shit. It was really weird like hearing my name throughout this whole movie. Nice. You know, but the lead character's name is Sinue and that's Sinue. where she that's where she got it. Sinue Kirin is my full name. Where's yeah. your family from? Mexico. What part of Mexico? Uh, my mom from Nayarit. And my dad from Reynosa. Oh, tight. Yeah. So you must love going back and playing in Mexico. Well, it's the first time I'm, I've never played what? Mexico. What? That's cool, though. Never played Mexico. That would be like a Not even with Ministry? No, we, Ministry yeah. played Mexico before I was in the band. They okay. played there like 15 years ago. And wow. uh, it was huge. Like they right. played one of the big coliseums oh, in yeah, Mexico yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. Mexico yeah. City. and uh, so I'm really excited. We're doing Mexico City and Monterey. Oh man. Yeah, they're yeah. super big. Yeah. Super big. That's what she said. Take them <laughs> 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 Ian, yes. high five Ian too as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm psyched about playing Mexico, man. That's like to me, I mean, you know, it's Oh, you're going to have all your aunts and uncles. Everybody's going to come out and see Probably. You. I want to try to fly my mom yes. out to Mexico to that. You have, to, that, you have to. She would love you know? it. Yeah, because she's never seen. She's only seen me play in L.A. She hasn't been to the, like the, you know, half a million people in right, yeah, right. Europe and Poland and shit like Why that. Why is that, and, though? Know. It's like every, everywhere Everything's else in Europe. rock and roll yeah. is so big. The, you know? I mean, the, the, the metal scene in Europe is massive yes. and they're so loyal yes. and they stick with the bands out there here. Absolutely. I mean, I hate to say it, but like flavor of the week, people man. are just so fickle and it's just like whatever the, you know, the flavor, flavor of the, of the week. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then they move on to the next thing. Yeah. And out there, I mean, you know, you go out and see Saxon at some festival and people are like digging it. And shit, yeah. You know? yeah. Out here, Saxon will play like the house of blues or some shit, you right. know, be like mm -hmm. half full, yeah. but um, it's a cool scene out there, you know, and they're very loyal. And I mean, we love doing the, the festival season every summer out there. Cool. Yeah. The, well, Poland, we did 500,000 people two years ago. Wow. Yeah. Has that been the biggest show that you've played with Ministry? Yeah. yeah. The, it was, the first time I played a festival was uh, the Download Festival with Society One. Mm -hmm. And there were like 35,000, 40,000 people. Right. Wow. And I thought to myself, this, this is, is it. Yeah. I was like, I was <laughs> like, I'm never going to, I'm never going to like, you know, wow. top this. Yeah. And then I joined Ministry and then we were in Serbia in 2008. And we played with the Sex Pistols, and there were ninety thousand people, oh which ninety thousand people—that's a lot. That's of a lot people, of people, right? And so then I was like, the same thing. I was like, I'm never gonna top this, <laughs> right? Now, two years ago, we get to Poland, wow. and there's five hundred thousand people. Oh. What is that? What and is I was that? like, you don't, you don't what see the end. No, it, it is like, I mean, they had like, they had big jumbo screens, you know, next to the stage, but then. Ha like in the middle wow. of the crowd there were another set facing like oh, you know because it was just really like it was ridiculous yeah. yeah i was like man i'm glad i brought my magnums <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> so 
lot of you ground to cover. Safe. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm all about safety. Yes. <laughs> Kids, safety, safety first. first. Safety We're first. Camera we heard it here. <laughs> from safety first. We wrote, you know, we wrote a song for uh, for Trojan once. Really? The Revolting Cox did. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because yes. they were going to sponsor one of the tours. Of course. And they were going to wrap the bus like with the whole like yes. magnet thing. <laughs> and we wrote a song called Trojan Horse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on. Um, it's on Got Cock. Crazy. Yeah. But they ended up not using it, so. Aww. We got a great song. What's, that Poland has been your favorite place to play in Europe. Well, it's the biggest crowd. Uh, there's a lot, to, man. There's so many places. My favorite place in Europe is Spain. Uh, Barcelona is probably like my favorite place out there. But there's so many cool places, man. You know, Poland's always been great. Ireland's great. Um, Germany's awesome. Berlin's yeah. been coming up like the last yeah. five years. We played Wacken. Uh, with the Scorpions two years ago. Wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We literally like the Scorpions went on before us. At Bakken Open Air, and it was like, I don't know, maybe seventy thousand people. But what what was funny is we did Vakin seventy thousand people, and then like two days later we did Poland five hundred thousand people. Wow! Yeah. So that's yeah. a trip, man. Yeah, that must be an amazing feeling to play in front of all those people. It's it like is a, a huge trip. rush. It's the biggest rush ever. Yeah. Well. Sam, we are so honored to Thank have you, you on the so show. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I really appreciate please, it. Please keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And thank and, you for staying. And humble. know that we follow you and know that yes, a lot of people really believe you. in you. Thank and you. And that you're really doing it and you're making LA proud. Thank you. That really means a lot, guys. I really yes. do appreciate that. And we appreciate you coming on. Katrina. The show. And, and thank you for bringing this beautiful. Thank yeah. You. Thank Katrina. you, Katrina, for coming Katrina. on. What's your info? Give us your info again. Oh, my info that I fucked up the first time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Twitter is KJ underscore fetish model. Twitter. Now, Tumblr is Katrina Jade fetish model. That's where all the good shit is. Nice. All yes. the explicit shit, real yes. shit that happens at home, not like skit. Yes. Look her up. She's everywhere. Look up Ministry. Ministry coming to you February. Before coming. So keep your eyes out.